The way we distribute TV channels and content are changing. At IBC, I went to the EBU booth to have a look at the latest development from the standardization called DVB. And Thomas Schirnbaum from the Bayerische Medientechnik will give us an overview of what you can do with the latest standard from DVB. It's a standard called DVB-I and it could be the bridge between the old school coax to the new IP distribution format. So last year at IBC we started with phase one. Phase one was setting up a complete ecosystem for DVBI and the proof of concept. Now we are here at the IBC 2003. Fortunately yesterday we won an innovation award and now we are starting with phase two. So phase one showed okay the standard is fine, the standard the technology is working and now uh, the next objective will be a consolidation of requirement for a market introduction. So we have still some issues uh, they have to be solved and some we have to do some homework but we are very convinced that we are on our way perhaps for next year or the year after the next year to have the requirement fulfilled so far for a market introduction. So I would like to show you now a hybrid service list. So we have here a list combining different kind of sources, for example streaming sources as well as traditional broadcast sources. So the first German TV program has now a satellite reception. It's indicated by HD. And now I will disconnect the satellite modulator. Any questions? And now you can see the picture is freezing. Here will from HD it's jumping to IP and now we are uh, getting the IP stream from the first German TV program. And the idea is to fill the gap uh, if we have uh, modifications, if you think uh, on a satellite transponder or uh, switching off uh, the cable distribution or if you think about the future of terrestrial TV. Another great feature of DVBI is the possibility of uh, a regionalization of a service list. So, for example, you have here the service list of North Rhine-Westphalia. You see it here with the commercial service as well with the WDR here as public broadcaster. And now I can enter a postcode. I will change it to a postcode located in Munich. Now it's pulling, uh, the, pulling the service list from our server for the location in Munich. And now you can see we have here SAT1 Bavaria and here the Bavarian Broadcasting Station Bavaria in the South. So here we have again the service list. A main point on a main feature is that we have 100% HPTV uh, integration in DVBI. This means every channel we are using in the DVBI pilot in Germany is offering HPTV. You can see it here. And we also can enter in the service list, for example, pure HPPTV applications. So we have here the MediaTek of the public broadcaster in Germany. So if I select it, I can directly jump into the HPPTV application or here the AudioTek and we jump directly here into the AudioTek. From the second German uh, broadcasting corporation, we have here fast channels or so-called playlist, so you can have deep links into a media takes and put it in the order for a playlist. And I have several other uh, functionalities and channels. Well, and with the IBC channel, we just showcasing how easy it is to set up a DVBI channel. As I told you, DVBI I stands for IP and Internet. So of course we can use DVBI also on pure DVBI clients, for example on a smartwatch or here on a tablet. And again, you will find here the DVBI service list 
which is corresponding also with the service list on the big screen. And also we have additional functions, for example, a content guide. And the content guide is able to offer deep links into MediaTek. So you can choose uh, a series or a program and start the topic in the MediaTek. An additional uh, functionality is so-called box sets in DVBI. So the standard allows to accumulate different topics, for example, depending on user preferences in so-called box sets. So accommodation of on-demand content. Thank you for taking your time to uh, show us these features in the DVBI and uh, have a nice IBC.